Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with another uh, type of signal, another minor topic is half wave symmetric signal, okay? Half wave symmetric signal. Now, the definition of this signal is what? For a signal to be half wave symmetric, x of t, oh, I did not write it properly, x of t should be equal to negative times x of t plus minus t by 2. This is your definition of half wave symmetric signals. Now, you know about time transformations. You know about amplitude transformations. So over here we have both time and amplitude transformation involved. All right. So what uh, do this mean? So you have a plus t by two. You have a minus t by two. Well, this t by two is the shift. So this plus, you know, this plus would shift the signal towards the right. Shift the signal toward left. Plus would shift it toward left. And minus would shift the signal towards right. Isn't it so? Minus is shift right. It's time delay and left is time advance. Well, over here I know it's the shadow of the light. I will try to not try to over here again. But this is something you know. Okay? Plus is shift right. Negative is shift left. And this negative outside, this means what? This is your amplitude reversal. To flip the signal above the time axis by the x axis so what have you done is in this case you basically have uh, three steps involved or two steps involved okay so you, the first is you have your original signal x of t you do what you time shift it time shift it to a new position let's say x of t you could either have a plus or minus t by 2 so you shift it by a value of t by 2. Now what is this t by 2? This is half of the period of the wave. This t is showing us the period of the wave. So t by 2 means half of the period of the wave. So which means that if we have a period involved over here, this signal is what? What? Yes, this is a periodic signal. So which means that if you have a period involved in these signals, so which means that all half wave symmetric signals are periodic signals. The vice versa are not saying to be true, which means that all periodic signals may or may not be half symmetric, but half wave symmetric signals are all periodic. Fine. So coming back over here. So you have shifted the signal. Now you do what? You have this signal T plus minus capital T by 2. You amplitude reverse it. Which means now you have negative times X of T plus minus T by 2. Now if this shifted amplitude reversed signal is equal to the original signal. You say that this signal is a half wave symmetric signal. Is that fine? It is. So, let's say we have an example. Well, we have a square sort of a wave over here. We are given x of t in a graphical way. So, this is your time axis. This is your x of t axis. Fine. So, the signal given is like this. And similarly here, so this will be like this. And according to the definition of periodicity, it would continue in, at, in this direction in a similar fashion. And similarly, it will continue in this direction in a similar fashion. Now, this is your x of t. Now, uh, I told you you have two steps. This is step number one. This is step number two. So step number one, you do what? You time shift it. You time shift it. 
So where do you want me to shift it? Plus t by 2 minus t by 2. Let's say I have a plus t by 2. So let's say I have a signal x of t plus t by 2. So this would be the signal. This is your time axis. And let's say I draw it in this way. Fine. So x of t plus t by 2 means I am shifting it toward the left by a t by 2 units. So t by 2 units is what? Now have a look, this signal is repeating over here. This is your time period, so which means half of this, this is your t by 2. Now you are shifting it toward the left by a t by 2. So which means this point would come here. This point would come here. So the new signal would be like this. Isn't it so? This is your x of t plus t by 2. Is that fine? Now the final thing is that you have to amplitude reverse it. So which means you have to take what? you have to take negative x of t plus capital T by 2. So let's say I would draw it over here. This is T. So you would have to take the mirror image. So plus would get to minus, minus would get to plus. So this minus would come here. Fine. This plus would come here. Similarly, this, this minus would go up. So this minus would come down. And it would repeat in such a fashion. This continues to this side and to this side. So have a look. Shifted amplitude reversed. Isn't it equal to the original signal? It is. So which means that this x of t given is a half wave symmetric signal. This satisfies the condition. Fine? Okay. Sawtooth wave. Let's say we have a sawtooth wave. The next question is on a sawtooth wave. Uh, so we have, this is our origin, let's say. Sawtooth wave, let's say, is represented by an S of T. It generally is not, but let's say it is over here. So it goes like this. Isn't it so? Yes. So this is your time axis. And it repeats to the left and to the right side. Now you time shift it. So for time shifting, first you need the time period. So let's say this is the time period. You could say from here till here. This is your time period. Or you can say for simplicity that this is your time period. So which means half of it would be the time period by 2. Time period by 2. Isn't it so? So let's say I shifted. So previously I shifted it left. Let's say over here I shifted right. So I have S of T minus T by 2. So over here we have the graph this is t and let me draw these also is that fine so t minus pi by 2 means you shift it toward the right by uh, by this much amount so which means that this point would come to the origin Fine, uh, the origin point would go to the next point, or am I making a mistake somewhere? I need to include these points also, I believe. So I will include this point also. So this 
point has come over here, this has come over here, this would go over here. So this would now be the next one. Fine. It should be. So have a look for the green color. Is it correct? It is correct. Well, I have not drawn it properly. You draw it properly. So this is correct. Fine. This is correct. Now, uh, the last step is to, you know, amplitude reverse it. That means negative times t of minus pi by 2, t by 2. So if you amplitude reverse it, what happens? This, we have this, we have this, and this. Similarly here. So if you amplitude reverse it, this negative portion would go to the positive portion. So it would be in this where I react. It would become like this. So have a look. The shifted and the amplitude reverse signal is not equal to the original signal. So which means that the sawtooth wave, saw tooth is not a half wave symmetric signal. Is that okay? Similarly, I also have another uh, example, but I would like it to be a homework for you guys. So let me draw it somewhere over here so this is an end of space okay so uh, where is it it's over here so let's say uh, x of t is given to you in what manner x of t in this manner wait this is the time axis this is your x of t it is given to be like this so this is the arrangement and it would it would repeat in such a way to both left and right side so you check for this. This is your homework problem. You check for this and you let me know whether it is a half wave symmetric or it's not. For me, this is all about half wave symmetric signals. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.